I have thought up a creative delicious chocolate dessert to celebrate Easter. Very easy to make. I'll use an Easter egg mold and whipped cream, berries and mint leaves for garnish. Let's see how to do. Ingredients for 8 10 servings. For the pudding, 1 and 2 3 cups of fresh whole milk, 1 and a quarter cups of heavy cream, 2 3 cup of white sugar, half a cup of flour, half a cup of butter, a third pound of dark chocolate. For garnishing, 1 cup of heavy cream, powdered sugar to taste, 3 ripe strawberries, half a cup of blueberries, half a cup of red currants, half a cup of raspberries. 10 small mint leaves. First of all, pour the heavy cream into a saucepan. Then add the cold milk, in which you have sifted and dissolved the flour. Pour through a fine strainer to get rid of any lumps. If there are lumps, Lower the strainer into the liquid and press down with the back of a spoon. Now stir and add the sugar and the butter. Then, as soon as the butter has melted and the milk comes almost to a boil, add the chocolate that has been roughly chopped with a knife. It's very important to constantly stir the mixture over a low heat in this step. Once the mixture is hot, add the chocolate and stir until completely melted. After that, let it simmer for a few minutes until thickened. That's it! The chocolate mixture is nice and thick. Now take the mold. This is a mold for making chocolate Easter eggs. And this is the container that will hold it in place to prevent it from tipping over. Fill the mold with the chocolate mixture. Then allow to cool completely and place in the freezer for at least 2-3 hours until set. Spread it evenly and let it cool. Here is our dessert on a serving dish. When you remove it from the freezer, Place it upside down under a small stream of running water to loosen the pudding from the mold. This is a round serving dish, but you can use an oval serving platter if you have it. Now, whip the cream with a tablespoon of powdered sugar. You can watch the whipped cream cooking tutorial on the Yellow Saffron channel for further details. And prepare the berries. I cut the strawberries into thin slices. So, take a pastry bag and garnish the pudding all around with dollops of whipped cream. Once the dessert is out of the freezer, remember to transfer to the fridge until soft enough to eat and garnish. After adding the whipped cream, Top the dollops with the berries and the mint leaves. Start with the blueberries or arrange whatever fruit you have available as desired, of course. Perhaps choose small fruits for a nicer presentation. Fill in the spaces between the blueberries with the raspberries. If you have any fruit left, you can serve alongside the dessert to your guests, of course. Now add the red currants 
After that, we'll fill in the spaces with the strawberries. Try to find small strawberries, otherwise use only the pointed end. Finally, finish off with small mint leaves to add a green touch. Our dessert is ready to enjoy. Happy Easter, everybody!